What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and today I wanted to share with you folks an add-on that I think virtually anyone who does Mythic Plus should try using. More or less, it's a UI supplement to the standard Blizzard tracking method for progress in a dungeon, but it has way more customization and information available to it. So today for awesome add-ons, I want to share with you the aptly named Mythic Plus Timer. So, as I'm sure most of my regular viewers know, I quite enjoy Mythic Plus. I'm also a bit of an add-on junkie, so I go out of my way to try and find things that help make it easier for me to quickly discern information from what's available in the standard Blizzard UI, which can leave a lot to be desired, to put it lightly. Mythic Plus Timer helps fill out a lot of useful bits of information that the standard UI's dungeon setup just doesn't offer. I've been using this add-on for several years now, and would highly recommend trying it if you haven't seen or heard of it before. I'll leave a link to it in the comments below for this video, and if you have any additional questions, then feel free to ask me in the comments or hit me up on my community discord. The link to that is in the description if you haven't visited before. Basically this add-on allows you to get a lot more precise information about how you're doing in your Mythic Plus run. It will let you see exactly what time you kill each boss at, which is pretty normal, but it also lets you see how much time you have left to push your key up from a plus 1 completion to a plus 2 or 3 depending on how quickly you did it. It'll also show you other various bits of information, like how much ad percentage each pull is worth, and how much ad percentage each ad is worth when you hover your mouse over them. And the best part is, you can customize these things so you can choose exactly what information you want to see and how it's portrayed on your UI. So now that you've seen a little bit of how it looks in action, we'll go through the features and options available in it so you can choose what you want or don't want available. To open Mythic Plus Timer, you can either go to your Interface Add-ons tab of your menu, or you can type forward slash mpt space config. As you can see, there are a number of options we'll be able to change or select for information we want displayed. Most are pretty self-explanatory, and there are tooltips when you hover over them which is a nice touch, though some I feel are worth pointing out because of how useful they are. Before messing with any of these settings though, I highly recommend clicking on the unlock timer frame box in the upper right corner, because otherwise you won't be able to see any of the changes you're making. Doing this will put the add-on into demonstration mode, so kind of like when you go to the car stereo section at like Best Buy or an electronics store. Anyone? No one. Okay, never mind. Basically this will just let you actively see what will be changed based on your choices that you make. Just so it's easier to see for the video, I've also bumped the scale of the add-on ridiculously high, but you can adjust that up or down by clicking and dragging the scale slider at the bottom of the menu. For now though, we'll just stick with this really large font just to make it easier to show you guys how it works, and hopefully I don't forget to turn that off after I'm done recording, because that will be extremely annoying in a key if I forget. Place your bets now to see if I remember or not. Anyways, some of these options are simple and anticipated things, like showing the objective time, which shows how long it took you in the dungeon run to defeat each boss and how long it took to reach the required trash count. For more exact timers, you can have it so it shows your best scored completion time and will only pair it against keys of the same level. So for example, it would store all completion times from all plus 10 hulls of atonements that you've done and compare them when giving you your best completion. You can also have it do it by the level and affixes of the key if you want it to, but this seems really arbitrary to me personally. Showing completion times in chat will give you a little blurb of text saying how fast you killed a certain boss this time versus your best time and if it was a new record or not. You of course also have your death counter, so that's a pretty normal feature that's also part of the stock UI, but you could turn that off if you wanted to for whatever reason. One of the coolest things by far in Mythic Plus Timer is the show progress percent in tooltip ability. This basically will show when you mouse over an enemy how much percent they are worth towards your total trash count. The only downside of this feature is you have to have killed that particular enemy before, so the first time you use it they don't show up since the add-on is still storing all of the percentages into a database. Once you have done it before, then it saves them for as long as you want. You can delete these percentages by clicking the Delete Progress Percent Database button at the bottom, which may become necessary if ad count percents are ever changed by Blizzard in future tuning passes. You can also delete your best times right above it on this button as well. You can adjust the way your enemy forces bar is tracked, either by absolute numbers or by percentages. I personally leave it on percentages as I find that far easier to keep track of. Another really nifty feature I keep on is for the add-on to calculate the total percent you earn from a trash pull. 
This of course assumes that anything you're in combat with will be killed before you are, so it takes the total percent that all enemies will give towards your total, and lets you know by adding it as a green addition of percent to the total forces bar on the side. As you kill them, this will update as well. You can also set the enemy forces bar to be just text, or for it to stay in its typical bar form which is similar to the standard UI. I personally leave it as a bar because turning it into text makes it blend in with the rest of the text of the UI otherwise, and the last thing you want to do is miss your ad percent because you lost track of it because it just kind of blended in with your peripheral vision, you know? Automatically inserting your keystone is another absolutely amazing thing, because without a special replacement bag UI like Arc Inventory where you can section things out, then you're left rummaging through your inventory just to find this stupid keystone every time. There are a couple lesser things for visual flavor like showing the affixes in your dungeon as either icons or text, and hiding the standard UI tracker which is kind of a given if you're using this add-on to show the information. Lastly, and equally awesomely, is the ability to track how long you have until you trigger your next prideful manifestation add from the prideful affix. This will of course only show up if you're doing a 10 or higher during Season 1 of Shadowlands, but still it's quite nice to have. Another lesser thing I'll mention really quick is that you can change the color of all the text in this add-on. By clicking on the Mythic Plus Timer add-on in your interface, you'll see a drop-down menu for colors. This will let you change each individual section's text color, so if there are certain colors you like or dislike using, you can swap those around pretty easily. It also has a reset option, just in case you change things and don't end up liking the way it came out. Overall, this is a really great add-on, and I would recommend it to anyone who does Mythic Plus keys regardless of the difficulty level they're doing. It just makes it a lot easier to track information, and it's highly customizable. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there will be a link down in the comments below to CurseForge so you can give it a shot yourself. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and look at Mythic Plus Timer with me, and if you enjoyed the video then, maybe consider leaving a comment or a like. Or if you know any other folks that might find this video or the rest of the channel useful, then sharing the videos is always immensely appreciated as it helps so much with the channel's growth. As always, I want to extend my gratitude to my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.